Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today we're going to go ahead and discuss the worst new fragrance I've smelled this year so far, so please stay tuned. So I decided to do a negative review because people are saying, oh, you never do negative reviews because blah, blah, this and blah, blah, this. Ever since you had your thing with your old channel, it's been like, oh, you don't do any bashing videos and things like that. I've been hearing all this stuff because ever since the stuff happened last year, I decided to just focus on fragrances that I love to review rather than bashing bad fragrances. I mean, there have been fragrances that have come out that I've liked but not loved and I've still included those videos but then you know what I thought let's go ahead and do a negative review and here we go this particular fragrance I was looking forward to and anticipating a lot when it was first launched a few months ago so it was launched around the same time as Chanel boy boy Chanel which to let you know is my absolute favorite purchase of this year so far I really love the way that fragrance smells it has a very classic Chanel vibe but updated for a man but it's pretty unisex actually I think women can wear it as well it's a modern fougere but again it has that Chanel DNA that I really really love so that was the best fragrance I've purchased this year so far so at that same time while I was buying Boy Chanel I wanted to smell this fragrance and the sales associate brought it out and I smelled it and I was like whoa what in the world is this stuff so what brand am I talking about okay so this is a brand that's out of Italy it's Aqua de Parma and it's a new fragrance called Colonia Quercia. So basically Quercia. Quercia is translated to oak. So it's supposed to smell like oak, but man, uh, I really, really do not like Quercia or Colonia Quercia by Aqua de Parma. So there was a time when I first smelled the oud, the Colonia oud from their collection, and I was blown away by how great that fragrance was. I absolutely love this oud. It's one of my favorite ouds of all time. And then they came out with the leather, which kind of reminded me of uh, Tuscan leather. It was slightly bit different, so it was good, not great like this. I mean, it, in some ways it can be considered great if I didn't have Tuscan leather or noble leather, but, but it was decent. It was not a bad fragrance. And then after that, they came out with Ambra, which was not my favorite amber. It was an ambergris dominant fragrance. So it had this saltiness, this aquaticness to it. And then after that, they came out with Colonia Club, which was a disappointment for me and now they have Colonia Quercia. So Colonia Quercia gives me like this headache. Like I don't usually get headaches from fragrances but this one gives me a headache and a gag. Like I gag when I smell this fragrance. I go to bars a lot and, and the bars that I go to because I want to enjoy cocktails or beer or wine and things like that. And some of the more expensive bars are always clean. But some of the dumpy dive bars that I go to, when you walk in and sit down, you have this like wet, like rotten or sour smell, like a dish rag or something that's gone turned sour. This is what Quercia reminds me of. So I have a sample. I requested a sample to try it out um, a couple times, and I had it laying around, and um, I just tried it again yesterday and I'm like, oh God, what in the world have they done here? Disappointing. And not only disappointing, it does not smell like oak. I don't get any oak in this. It's something, it, it has this like weird, I, I don't know what it is, but like salty aquatic touch with lots of dense woodiness, which just becomes very like a wet dish rag or sour dish rag or something just obnoxiously bad for me. I, I just can't get past the smell. It's not as bad as some of the other fragrances that I've discussed in the past, like uh, uh, the infamous fragrance that I despise. It's an aquatic. I won't name names here, but, um, but this one just, uh, it, it just, it just does not work for me. I'm going to go ahead and spray it once and then I'll have to wash my hand after this video. But um, uh, it, it's just weird. It's like taking wood running it in the sea getting like a lot of like sea smells with like wood that's been rotting in the sea it's pretty much like that i get lots of saltiness there's lots of salt here salt and just astringent aquatic watery wood 
just really, really disappointing release from Aqua de Parma. I mean, there was a time when I really loved this brand, especially their freshies. Love them. I mean, they're just really great scents. Some are not as good as the others, but just a good line, solid collection to wear in the summertime or when it's warm. But then again, when the Oud came out, just thought, okay, this is going really, really good. Especially since these are also not Eau de Parfum. They're not even Eau de Toilette. They're concentrated colognes because that's what they make. And every single release in this darker collection has just gotten one step lower than the, the previous one. So it's really, dis really disappointing and I'm bummed because I really wanted to like this oak scent, but unfortunately I don't like it. So that's a bummer. Uh, we'll have to move on to the next fragrance from this brand. Uh, we'll wait. But um, what are your thoughts? Are you familiar with Colonia Quercia? Uh, check it out. Maybe you might like it, but for me it's a complete no. In fact, whatever I have left here, I'm happy to send to somebody here in the USA. If you want to check out Quercia by uh, Aqua de Parma, because as I said, I really do not like it. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you familiar with this line? I'm sure you are, and I'm sure you've tried the oud and the leather and the ambra, but probably the Colonia Club also is somewhat popular, and I didn't like that one as well. It's in, it's in the green bottle. It's a dark green bottle. And then again, now we're back to the brownish bottle with the Quercia, and uh, did you have you smelled it yet? So let me know. Put the comments down, and also just put down your state, and I'll randomly pick someone to receive this sample of Quercia. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this quick video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. There's a subscribe button at the top. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.